Yeah, your character might not have the strongest uh, tools in the game, or strongest punishment options, but you do sometimes creep by certain wins, and you steal certain wins because uh, you have knowledge matchup and the other person doesn't. Yeah, and, and that's like a big thing. Mm -hmm, for sure, you can catch them with all sorts of traps, and you can scare them. And uh, scare dodging is real in this game, man. And if you don't know <laughs> what the, if you don't know what they're capable of doing, you're gonna. A lot of people tend to mash that R L button in the air. So yeah, uh, Cody actually really likes to go for. Uh, what he'll do is he'll do like a fair, like a landing fair at like average percents. And if you air dodge, he gets you with a neutral B charge shot. And that's a that's one of the big things you're gonna definitely want to keep your eyes for. He if, if you air dodge there, like you are, you can die real quick. Mm -hmm. But uh, looks like we're gonna get started on town and city. Here we go. Hopefully, uh, definitely the meat gunner. Person. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, Give a shout out to the shout out to the Rosa and Lucas discords, but playing me gunner. Okay. <laughs> that's a mix yeah, up in itself. <laughs> Let's see how this this match is interesting though, because uh, Corin is actually a. Uh, not fast at all so uh getting in can definitely be a bit of a struggle and uh if, as you see vapor trying to jump in and trying to force his way in he uh definitely very aggressive options i don't like that dare as a whole definitely way over committing and lost all that momentum he kind of uh got essentially yeah if you see that momentum carry from the forward air that's uh you gotta keep up with that yeah it's definitely you can definitely see the advantage that meat gunner has i like that mix up too starting to charge Showing that, hey, I, I'm definitely gonna spam forward air at you. Nice, but look at that. The game's already tied. Actually, Corrin takes the lead by three percent. So like, yeah, that's all it takes. Like, you can, uh, you definitely, pin. <laughs> it's so good, yeah. and you can definitely get flustered playing knee gunner. You gotta keep in mind, like, you're gonna if you catch them eventually, you're gonna uh, close the gap real quick in terms of percentage. Uh, Vapor's doing a really good job now. He's trying to not jump as much and stay primarily grounded in shield. But uh, the hardest thing for him to deal with is Cody mixing up whether he's shooting a high uh, forward air or a low forward air, essentially. Oh, Cody tried to cross him up with that, that forward air, actually, and get the down smash. Uh, but did not get the cross up, unfortunately. Ooh, right. there you go. Caught that neutral B right there. I do like the mix-ups that Vapor's throwing in with his own projectiles, too. Throwing them out, saying, hey, man, you got the zones? I can, too, though. So. Ooh, Vapor going a little bit too slow. Can't get that... Uh... That pin out of shield right there and uh, getting down smash right off the stage for whiffing all that. In this stage, Town and City, it's definitely an interesting option because I feel like that's the one that Cody Street wanted to go to for sure. Oh, for as sure, yep. You're seeing yeah. him utilize the full uh, length of the stage, uh, running away <laughs> <laughs> the entire yeah, you see time. Him just but you drift. Know he doesn't have to do anything, man. He just, that air mobility is so good. Uh, so good. The big thing that, um, that Vapor needs to start doing is when Cody ends up off stage, what he can do is he can run off stage and pin into the stage. So when um, Cody has to up B through him, he can just kick into the stage and either two frame him or just straight up kill him. Oh, wow. Great trade. Trading. Great trade That's for crazy. Vapor for sure. So this is wow. a bad position for Cody Street right now because he's mm -hmm. B Gunner. He's, he's still got to kill his corn and he has no rage anymore. Yeah. So his work is definitely cool. No, no. <laughs> okay, forward smash. Keep in mind though that Me Gunner's forward smash is very bad. It does an okay amount of percent. But it has very, very bad knockback on it. Mm -hmm. What I'm definitely interested in seeing is if Cody's going to start to uh, juggle with uh, possibly up airs or trapping him as well. Ooh, oh, yeah, I totally forgot about the reflector. Yeah. Oh, my God. Th there <laughs> now, goes the miss, the matchup knowledge right there. Forward smash right oh, at the ledge. Got to be enough go. to wow. kill Corrin, too. Took 0% there. That was yeah, awesome. Yeah, wow. What a huh. response from Very Cody good job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like definitely that excited to see... Uh, Oh, oh, Cody got a little scared there from the jabs. He thought it was going to end. Ooh, nice charge yeah. shot, 20%. Woo. I believe if it's fully charged, it does 24, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, oh, yeah, see, he tried to catch him with a down smash. If he just toss him off stage, Corrin's recovery can be taken advantage of so quickly. Me Gunner's down are actually being quite good. Uh, it kinda got, it's got a little like hard spot, so it'll knock you right down. Right. Yeah, and Corrin, wow. uh, you can definitely exploit her recovery a little bit. Uh, it's not, it's nine not frames too of bad. But... Nine frames of startup, man. That's a lot. And then the head is always vulnerable, so that if you get that dare in the right spot, you can get it. Ooh, uh, Vapor definitely struggling to get in right now. He constantly is getting caught out of uh, his dash and isn't able to shield. He needs to definitely start walking a little bit more and uh, taking his time with the recovery, or rather, with getting in to, to punish him. Ooh. Yeah, that's a, definitely a factor in this matchup is you do want to walk, but at the same time, you're like, I gotta close the gap. And like, so it's like this mentality thing of like, I'm gonna run at you because I want to close the gap quickly. But if you keep running in the same pattern, it becomes predictable. And uh, exactly. you're gonna see Cody Street take over in terms of uh, controlling the tempo of this match, as he has been doing a couple rounds of the second stock, already 93% on Vapor's core and yep. 99 Ooh, racking it up wow. even more. That side view was such a good idea. It was so quick, a little mix up to get him to come close to him and then just dropped it right on him and pushed him right back. Cody Street's definitely totally comfortable playing at the ledge here, trying to bait Vapor to come after him. And oh man, if he that had air dodge there, he could have died. Wow. Mm hmm. 
Yeah, as we saw, Vapor definitely likes going for the pin off the side as most corns oh, do yeah. too, and it's gonna kill very, very early on Town oh, City yeah. off the side. Mm -hmm. Like right now, if he hits him at the ledge, he will die, 100%. Mm -hmm. That is if he gets the tipper pin, not yeah, uh, really... not just the pin to kick. You know what I like too, as I see Cody Street. Oh, nice tip, nice pin. Wow. Yep. Gets him off the stage. I like the high recovery Ooh. too, using now... the, the mobility from the fair mm -hmm. to recover too. Very smart. Yep. Yeah, one of the things Vapor is gonna have to do is not use back air when trying to. Uh, Oh, now that's like Samus's up smash, but it actually mm -hmm. works. <laughs> All the hit, like, yeah, they gave it to the meat right in. in. And, mm -hmm. and right there, only the last hit hit because it reaches all the way behind Me Gunner's head and just like caught him moving just a little bit too close. Um, but yeah, wow. Vapor's definitely going to need to stop back airing. That's a really big thing is when he jumps in, he goes and does like a full hop back air. He's stuck in all those frames. It's like 14, 15 frames where he can't move at all. And all uh, Cody has to do, uh, all he has to do is just forward air and he's on the other side of the map. It's like Diddy Kong side B. <laughs> right. Oh man. So that was, that was a crazy end of that game. And I gotta feel like, uh, right now, if you are, uh, Vapor and you're playing Corrin, you gotta win two of those matches. Oh man, you're not happy about that situation because you're gonna have to deal with that a whole lot, a uh, whole lot more camping. And not only that, but Vapor made some great adjustments to the way he was, uh, using the range of me Gunner, not only to... Uh, stay away from Corrin, but to maneuver around Corrin too. Like you were pointing out, the slow mobility from Corrin having a hard time keeping up with all the air mobility that Me Gunner has. So we're gonna see how that changes coming around into match two. For sure. And I gotta with, imagine. Uh, I'll go ahead. Oh, you. Um, one of the big things Vapor Zuna is he's committing to like doing a pin early, trying to catch him when he's moving, or like jumping, like trying to dare. And with that, the super committal moves, like just like I said with the back air, like you gotta pick and choose, right? You can't just like go for that hard read constantly because mm -hmm. the character is so slippery and all over the place. And one little forward and he moves into a different spot and you totally miss. Definitely. Uh, it's gonna be, I, you gotta imagine that Vapor's like, I gotta choose a stage that puts me a lot <laughs> closer to this character because I do not wanna chase that thing all around. He's uh, definitely going to want to go to uh, Battlefield, most likely, or, or Dreamland, even. Or Dreamland, yeah. Uh, so that he has the platforms to mix up his approaches as well, and or keeping him out when if he gets a lead. That'll definitely help him in the long run overall, but uh, he, well, let's see, though. I'm definitely really curious to see uh, if he is going to offer the platforms. I've, I don't know a lot about Vapor, so I'm not sure what he, kind of uh, preferences he has. Looks like we're going to get started. Yeah, it looks like we're going to find out very shortly. Um, Battlefield, yep, good call. Oh, yeah, there we definitely, go. Definitely makes a lot of sense. I got to wonder uh, what Cody Street... Uh, nice footstools. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got to wonder what Cody Street did ban them. Hmm. Uh, probably Lilat. <laughs> um, uh, hey, that is Corn's best stage, I promise. I like... kind of forgot a little bit that... Oh, <laughs> excuse me. That's okay. Um, yeah, let's see, though. Uh... Right now, uh, what Vapor definitely needs to do is, especially at low percent, uh, as Corrin, you have to nair and then immediately do like a pin or like a tilt rather than um, trying to do nair to nair. And if you see, one of the things that Vapor keeps doing wrong as well is he keeps automatically dashing after getting hit. He has to just shield. Um, Cody Street's not going to be able to just run in and grab him each time. Whoa, Whoa what the heck was that? Reverse down smash shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's see. It's an interesting role, uh, right back to the center of the stage. Uh, gotta wonder if, I think Cody Street was just trying to uh, establish his uh, stage dominance right there. Mm -hmm. Take over the center stage and then kind of take the tempo back into his control. Yeah, if you notice, Cody Street is actually like abusing his air mobility to like go back and forth, like uh, literally through Vapor a lot and kind of showing him like, dude, like I'm not scared of you at all. And even like the character Corn, all these hitboxes around her, not scared, but right there, Vapor showing him like, hey man, back up mm -hmm. and just F smashed him right out of his forward air. Very good uh, read right there on the forward air. Definitely, and Vapor has done a great job bringing this match back. Almost dead even the percents right now, and you gotta be feeling pretty good about that if you are Corrin trying to chase down a meat gunner. Oh yeah, yeah, right there. <laughs> oh, another twenty percent, man. Like, you don't even have to worry about that move staling with rage and everything like that. Like, it's gonna kill you. It's no matter what you do. And these mix-ups right. that uh, Cody's got with using the the forwarder to mix up where, whether he's going on the platforms or like going down are just really really clean right now. I'm liking it a lot. Oh, definitely, man. The run up shield and wait. <laughs> Everybody does it. <laughs> <laughs> Who's gonna pull? Oh, that see that's that's the mix-up I was saying before. He uses it to cross up his shield and then do either a down smash or an up smash. But due to the uh, the momentum, he actually fell out of the up smash. There's a very rare uh, scenario happening from that. Very unfortunate. Definitely. No matter how, oh, there it is. Catch him with yeah. another up smash. That's two kills so far that he's got with that up smash. I really it's like to see him use it. Mm -hmm. Definitely. 
Looks pretty uh, quick, too. And like you said, oh. it fully functions and connects all the hits, so that's really <laughs> nice. And yep. you know that Cody, uh, Cody Street is going to try to uh, advance his uh, advantage right here and land this charge shot. Uh-oh. Oh, the counter. Oh, that shot was risky, yep. That was an amazing uh, reaction seeing that he could get that pin there. Very nice. But Vapor definitely needs to just, like, not very often will Corn like, run off stage in a sense, but cover that ledge a lot more safely. Ooh. That was a beautiful up air to Great, catch. Great, yeah. Down. Great retaliation. Not only that, but now it looks like Vapor is catching on to the movement of the meat gunner. He says, hey, man, you've used enough of those forward back airs to recover back on the stage. I'm going to catch you this time. And not only is that get him a kill, but that also sends a message of like that movement option. I'm onto it now. So you got to be careful yeah. if you're going to be throwing that one out there. Yeah, you got to be more creative. One of the things that's happening here a lot is um, when you insta pin someone's shield that they roll, you can react to it and punish it. But Vapor is mm -hmm. not reacting. He, he seems very twitchy right now, almost, and trying to just like hit him, like once hit him and then not really react. Like see here, and then he gets like impatient. And if you notice as yep. well, like he's jumping and daring his shield, and. Uh, like, there you go, another thing, like, miss space Nair. If Korn's Nair is spaced fully, Ooh. um, the only thing that can punish it is a down smash out of shield, but Korn can shield in time for that. So, right. that's definitely a big thing right now, is Vapor's landing way too close to, uh, Cody and getting punished yeah, a lot Yeah, Co Cody's doing a great job recognizing that and landing two down smashes so far this stock to not only send him on stage, wow. but rack up a lot of damage. The side D's coming out right now. What yeah, is that hit move the ledge. That's, uh, I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> It, I, it's it. like a mix of arc fire and PK fire put together, man. Exactly. It's quick. It's very, very nice. He definitely has used it uh, very limitedly, but very nicely when he does throw it out, covering the ledge options, uh, trying to keep the pressure on Vapor from the, from a distance. Yeah, Vapor definitely needs to stop doing these rising nares when uh, when Cody's in shield because nair is not safe on shield. It does not apply any pressure at all because you're completely stuck in it. If he did fast fall nair or something like that, that would d definitely be better. But right. very nice charge shot right there from Cody, just knocking him right out. Yeah, constantly yeah. see he hits him with one projectile and then baits the next option and punishes it right away. Over sure. and over and over, it keeps resetting him. And Right now, yeah, Cody's definitely showing a lot of dominance right now. He's showing that he understands Vapor's shielding and Ooh. movement pattern. Ooh, great counter. Corn 170 counter. on core, that counter's gonna be big. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I'm there we go, trying to go for the, the fair cross-up mix-up again. Yeah, he's he's starting to get caught on to. Vapor definitely has to stop trying to use back air in neutral though, because uh, forward air is definitely gonna be faster. Very nice runoff mm -hmm. nair though, getting him right off him and Cody not respecting Vapor's space right now and trying to land on him over and over. Ooh, Ooh the up at the ledge trying to cover it. <laughs> yeah, he, I think he thought he fell off the stage actually and panicked a little bit. Uh oh, now yeah. is he gonna go for it? No, he just wants to cover the get up instead. Oh, he went for the charge shot. Okay, okay. <laughs> on some stages, uh, certain characters like their hands will stick over, and he mm -hmm. tried to hit him. He wasn't sure if it would hit. I guess he probably tried to catch it. Oh, and that's Great gonna kill. Up throw is gonna yeah. kill on battlefield. Great. It's stuff very similar to uh, Falco's up throw with the lasers, but it's just one yep. little shot uh, that'll just kill you if you're high enough percent. So very, very nice. Wow, that was awesome, man. I love seeing that matchup, and you know, both players did a really good job adjusting. But it seemed like. Uh, Cody Street just he kind of had the matchup like more on lock. Like he understood more mm -hmm. what was going on. He recognized a little bit more uh, what Vapor was trying to do uh, with his offensive options and just kind of stuffed him and did a great job keeping him out and capitalized with a couple of really nice smashes, including down and up smashes to net kills and or uh, regaining stage position. So that was really, really nice, man. Really well played by both these players. I definitely respect uh, Cody's observation skills right now. Like I had mentioned, he's uh, waiting to see how uh, Vapor reacts from the forward air sitting his shield or even like the charge shot and waiting and seeing if he jumps or if he dashes and dealing with those different options. Even like like one time he rolled in, waited and charge shot him. Like beautiful, beautiful reactions coming from uh, Cody Shu right now. Mm -hmm. So is this going to be a three out of, is everything yes. three out of five? Yes. Okay, good. Uh, my fault. Also, as a reminder, everybody, make sure you tweet out uh, Hashtag uh, PG key. Shout outs to uh, Ad Xylus. Watching PG, uh, PG key with your coffee. Oh man, dude. I that hope you're enjoying great. the show. Definitely. Hey, I got my coffee too, man. I'm going to be <laughs> here with Zeke for a couple more hours. So we're trying to stay <laughs> awake. Give you guys a nice show. And uh, yeah. So let's see. I think, do you think Battlefield should stay Vapor's choice? Because I, I do. I feel <laughs> I like the stage wasn't what cost him the match. He definitely needs to pressure him on the platforms. Like I had mentioned with the nares, he needs to not do that. He's, he either needs to do like a, a short hop and then like yeah. a landing nair to pressure and bait or do like a landing up air or a back air, something not that nair. Oh yeah, see we're going to yeah. Dreamland, try to spice up. Oh, he went ZSS. I didn't even Ooh. know he played ZSS. So this will be interesting. So I think the mentality here is kind of like, hey, if ZSS, if I can land a couple combo strings, that's going to be a stock from you. Whereas Corrin needs to work, I think, kind of harder in different ways, but ZSS can capitalize a little bit better. Um, so maybe the mentality here is if I, I think the big thing is mobility. 
Yes, that's being able it. to actually chase so, Cody Shree is gonna definitely help a lot. The quicker moves, the, the, the confirms that are that are gonna last longer, like you had mentioned, as mm -hmm. well as just being able to just deal with the projectiles as a whole and get around. And then not only that, I mean ZSS on Dreamland Man is a great thing, and he's doing a great job sure. right now. See how easily he's able to get in and maneuver around the forward airs. Corn doesn't have that that level of mobility at all. So let's it's, definitely see how that's gonna go. It's definitely fitting the play style, kind of what you were calling out earlier, like he was kind of approaching with these unsafe aerials and all this other stuff. With ZSS, you can get away with more of that stuff too. The zoning game completely Ooh. changes now. Let's let's see how Cody Street responds. Wow, that actually that was such like he waited to see if he could still reach that. That was like the the latest down B kick I've seen in a long time. That was awesome. And then getting the Trump to the back air, almost killing a 90, and oh wow, trying to call the hard get up read right there. We're taking 30% yeah. from it. Vapor definitely doing a good job with this counter pick so far. Let's see what Cody Street can do. It looks like he's digging in right now. Oh. Mm -hmm. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. that I tell Wow, that was so that's such a good reaction, like I had mentioned, where um Cody keeps kind of jumping through him even when they're in neutral, and that up smash to cover that and being like, nah, man, you can't just like air dodge like that. Oh, missing yep. the down B bait to back air, just barely. Good wait from Vapor though at the ledge. Definitely, man. Uh, He's got a grab right now. This could definitely lead to a. Okay, oh, good, okay. Good jump out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was well, definitely like Mars for one sec. He, he was definitely very committed to that option. Is, is oh, how yeah. I will put it. Mm -hmm. so. Oh, there we go. That was a good reaction. Uh, Cody actually messed up a forward air there and got dash attacked for it. But now this is where it gets a little scary because uh, CSS can't get either the confirm. Oh my god. That was a great just a raw shot. Hit. Super, yeah. super good option. Just understanding Whoa. the character. Woo! That was up tilt, by the way, just so you know. Um, it's it's <laughs> so, just like a yeah. Mario up tilt, but it, it's like an explosion, right? So he can like slide and, and, and catch you with that, and, and it can definitely kill you if it's fresh. Oh, I love F that. Tilt. Wow. I just saw, uh-oh, uh no punish, <laughs> okay, went for a roll behind and said, definitely, probably a bit, an error, uh, a misput, input error, yeah. Yep, uh, if you notice as well is, um, Cody's definitely jumping within, uh, ZSS's space right there, oh yeah, see the up tilt right there, just scooping him up, but, uh, Vapor's yeah. not letting him jump within his, his, like, immediate space anymore, he's able to box a lot better here, so let's definitely see, uh, if Cody's gonna adapt that or if he's gonna lose his stock because of it. Definitely, you see Cody, he kind of oh. remembered that up tilt is in his uh, arsenal, and he did pull yeah. it out like three or four times, like all the way to the end of that stock, so oh, he's yeah, gonna no. keep using that move. Mm -hmm. Yeah, lots of mix-ups, lots of different ways to get creative kills. Oh yeah, now here, you gotta DI away. You can't hold in the fair. It's like a villager fair almost. Like if you hold in and try to keep landing, you're just gonna keep getting hit. Yeah. Ooh, right now, is, right up now is sending a message saying, man, I gotta take this stock away from you. He's throwing out a lot of hitboxes, trying to connect and take out Cody Street's first stock. Let's see if he can do it, yeah. man, because this is, this is a pivotal moment in the match for sure. Ooh, Cody's starting to adapt to uh, the dash attack distance and starting to really stay out of it and push uh, Vapor all the way back. And oh, that up, he's not going to make it. That's going to be a, a 3 0 2 stock, actually. Wow, that's rough. Quick uh, 30, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I do. A very I nice do. Job. Yeah, you know what? I love that's the thing about having like a secret secondary kind of like that, right? Because uh, there's no way Cody Street, well, I guess he could have banned the tri platforms, but he wasn't going to ban Dreamland specifically against the Corrin. So it was open for ZSS. So I love the idea, like you said, the movement options, uh, the earlier kills, all that good stuff. Uh, 